Okay, this is going to be a test of the upgrade I just did to the table. New digital torch height control, Mark IV from cncnc.com. And I have a little test set up here. I'm going to cut a four foot line, and uh, we're zeroed out on the other side of this four foot plate. On this side, I have a stack of scraps here that are three quarters of an inch thick stacked. So in four feet, as the torch head comes across, it's going to raise up um, three quarters of an inch across four feet. And um, we're going to see how this height controller works. So I pretty much have everything, everything set up. Uh, I'm going to reference my Z. Zero it out. Have my preset uh, volt set up for uh, 14 gauge cold rolled steel. 83 volts is the recommended preset. My digital torch height control is on. Here you can see it's online. G code is loaded. So let's see what happens when we hit run. So you can see, there's the back side. This is the cut side right here. So, and that's at 150 inches minute, little to no dross. And uh, you can see in four foot from the beginning across here, you can see that torch just jumping up and down, uh, maintaining that height, got a beautiful cut all the way across. I am so happy with this upgrade. Uh, you can see a little bit earlier, I, uh, I cut a wind spinner as a test file. And then this is a file from, uh, from Spider. And I cut this whole piece out with uh, the digital torch height control on. A little bit of dross, not bad. I'm still uh, playing around with the settings, dialing it in. Uh, but um, I just can't say enough uh, enough good things about this. Uh, a little bit difficult uh, to get installed because of the documentation. It was a little bit spotty, but uh, uh, not too bad overall. It took me about a day and a half to get the hardware installed. And then um, uh, when you consider that I built another computer um, specifically for this, and with this is running under Windows 7, here you can see... I have a very minimal install of uh, Windows 7 and uh, just working just spot on so far. Uh, here you can see the uh, Ether, Ether card version, uh, no parallel port, and the four port hub that's required. Uh, RS-485 four-port hub that's required for the system. And other than a little glitch getting everything um, installed into the box, which is really uh, mostly my fault because I was so anxious I didn't read all the documentation. Or I did read the documentation, but uh, just tried to breeze through it too fast. So uh, overall, not too bad. Um, Three-quarter inch rise in four feet. Um, I think I'm very happy. Thanks for watching. This is Mike with Fusion Metalworks.